What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video, I got some RC news for you. So earlier this week, Tamir released a tease video of a whole brand new TT4 chassis that they were going to be coming out with. Uh, in that video, you were actually able to see that it is a buggy. And today, June 25th, we get to see what that buggy looks like. So here we have it, the all new TD4 chassis, Super Avanti. Um, as you guys can see here, it's got wheel wells over all four corners. Um, they do have little cutouts here on the front and on the side. More than likely, it probably does have it on the other side also. And, uh, it looks like it's got metal turnbuckles. It's definitely nice looking. Uh, if we come down here, we'll actually be able to see what this thing is all about. So if you guys want to pause the video, you can pause it and go see, read everything that's on here. Um, the length is 338 millimeters. Height is 124 millimeters with 246 millimeters. The wheelbase is 283 millimeters. Um, like I said in my last video, which I'll put a link up here that you guys so you guys can see it, it is a assembly kit. So you actually have to put this thing together. Um, the other thing that is awesome about this kit is that they're actually going to give us full ball bearings. I highlighted it right there. So that is awesome because Tamiya usually sends an RC out with uh, the plastic bearings, which with friction and everything, I mean, it works, but it's not ball bearings, which, you know, gives you better rotational mass and everything, which lets the car spin freely, um, which that's a really good thing. A lot of people were also concerned about the spoiler. So in the vintage Avanti, the older, uh, Avantis, the spoiler here, the wing, sat above the uh, shock towers here. Uh, this one's actually sitting a little bit lower, a lot lower actually, than all of what a lot of people would like it to be. Um, but, but, if we look down here, Tamiya is actually giving you the option where you can choose whether to keep the spoiler at a low setting or at a higher setting. So hopefully that higher setting, you'll be able to set that spoiler here above those shock towers, which will be nice, which will end up being like the older Avantis that uh, they have released before, uh, which a lot of people will end up enjoying about that. Uh, they do have a video here. I'm not going to play it, but you can go again. It's on YouTube. You can go on YouTube and check out that video if you guys like. Um, it is going to have a four-wheel double wheel spoon suspension with a CVA oil dampers, which is nice. It's going to have oil dampers, not the friction, not the friction suspension that they usually send out with the uh, RCs. And it is a uh, shaft-driven four-wheel drive chassis. So that is going to be something to uh, watch out for. Uh, we still don't know what the price range of this thing is going to be, but uh, I'll keep an eye out and I'll let you guys know what the price range is going to be on that. Uh, more news from Tamiya is they are coming out with the first Tri RC kit with the TT02B for buggy uh, chassis. It is the Plasma Edge 2 purple and green. Uh, unfortunately here, you guys can see that there is no image available because this product is currently not available for purchase. But I found this picture, <laughs> which is the limited edition uh, road buggy in purple and green color, which that's what this is saying, purple and green. I found this picture. Hopefully, it's going to be something like this. Um, what I ended up finding out was that the 
first to try RC kit, it is going to be coming pre-assembled. So there will be some things that you might have to assemble it. Um, this is for the first time RC person. Uh, it is a great thing. It's You get to put a little bit of it together. It's going to be pre-assembled. You might have to put the wheels on it um, and maybe the body on top of it. But, I mean, as you guys can see here, this thing just looks awesome. For a first-timer, this is going to be a great RC to get involved into the RC hobby, which will be awesome. Um, and more news that we got for uh, RC news this week is Charisma is coming out with the SEA1 Ford F-150 2.1 Black Edition. So this thing is awesome, guys. Uh, the body, I, I do like these older truck bodies, um, especially for the rock crawling. It does give you that nice look when you're crawling with these older body style trucks. Um, let's see if I can do a little something here, get some pictures. So it is going to be on a 13, 313 millimeter uh, wheelbase. Um, and we are gonna be coming down here to see some more information about it. So it's coming out with 100 millimeter adjustable oil filled coil over shocks, um, 110 millimeter all-terrain tires, plastic 1.9 true, beadlock wheels, which is awesome, uh, that you'll be able to reuse these wheels and just change out the tires if you need to, uh, which is a good thing that we don't have to glue the tires on the wheel, which I prefer to have beadlocks instead of gluing the tires on the wheels. I'm really not a big fan of that. Um, so again, it's going to have a chassis mounted servo. It is on a 313 millimeter chassis. And this thing just looks absolutely awesome. Um, let's come down here, check out some dimensions. So the clearance you have from the pumpkin down to the ground is 75 millimeters. Uh, you have 230 millimeter width, uh, 313 millimeter wheelbase, and uh, 480 millimeter front to rear on this rig. Um, so this thing does come fully ready to run. Um, in the box, you see here, it's going to have a pre-painted body. Um, you just have to charge the nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, it comes with a transmitter receiver, um, slow charger, manual parts list, optional LED light buckets. So you'll actually be able to put LEDs in this thing. Um, it also brings four double A cell batteries for the transmitter, which is really good. A lot of a lot of RC companies are not doing that. Um, it brings wing mirrors supplied to fit um, body, body molded accessories, fully loaded with 2.1 SEA 1E spec innovation, uh, a true American classic reborn in 110 scale. So this thing's absolutely awesome. I. I Absolutely love the look of it, um, especially these old Ford bodies. I'm a Ford guy, so I love these old Ford bodies, and this just looks absolutely awesome. The color that they have on it, the two-tone paint, looks badass. Um, and it looks like if you go into, if you look here in the options, you'll be able to get a deeper bed, inner fenders. Uh, steering linkage, brass wheel hex, uh, aluminum steering knuckles, uh, brushed ESC, aluminum oil shocks, uh, another preset body, pre-painted body, uh, metal gear differentials, and this is the one I wanted to check out, the Coyote Deep rear trunk bed, uh, brass diff pumpkin cover, um, beadlock wheels, um, the bed inner fender for the F-150, 
95 millimeter all-terrain tires, spotlight buckets, and more B-lock wheels, 55 turn motor, uh, aluminum rear axles. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that you're able to get for this. Uh, stainless steel wire mesh. So you might be able to use that to like something on the bed cover, uh, front axle, not aluminum front axles, uh, aluminum steering horn. Again, there's a whole bunch of upgrades that you're able to do with this thing. Um, what I do like that they did is you get, as you guys can see here, you get mirrors. <laughs> that's that's badass. <laughs> that just looks awesome. You get some mirrors that you're able to put on it. More for that scale look. Uh, you have some uh, windshield wipers. That you, guys, you guys can check right up there. They got the front molded uh, grill here, which I again, I love. I love these old Ford body styles. Here we go. The windshield wipers gives you that great scale look. The only thing that kind of sucks is the fact that they had the body posts coming up through the uh, the hood. And I believe it's also coming up through the back too, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, they also have it coming up through the back. But if you guys, if anybody ends up deciding they want to do a lower, to lower the bed, then you might be able to get away from having the body post coming up from the bed and getting rid of those and just uh, doing like magnets or something, which will definitely give it more of that scale look, which is awesome. Uh, this is a fully licensed body uh, for the 70s truck. And I love it. I, I really, really like this uh, this truck. I always like these F-150s. So guys, Girls, that's pretty much all I got for you in uh, RC News this week. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more news coming up next week with some more RCs. Um, if you guys liked and enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, so I can give you some more content. And uh, hopefully see you guys in another video.